President Uhuru Kenyatta says the conversation on African Renaissance also aims to produce a new framework for engagement that brings together Africa and its descendants in Americas and across the world for the sake of inspiration, investment, collaboration and cooperation. It is estimated that between 12 and 15 million African slaves were transshipped to America, of which over 4 million are reportedly to have died on the high seas. Besides the brutal and hellish conditions that African slaves went through and the millions that lost their lives, President Kenyatta observed that slavery eventually laid the grounds for colonialism, discrimination and racism. He called for unity of purpose among Africans for the Renaissance to succeed and ensure the continent retains the current status as a new frontier of global economic growth and prosperity. We are still here today still striving to make up lost time and lost ground. The descendants of Africans who left in chains have today become an inspiration to their countries and the world. In leaders like Martin Luther King, they have produced a soaring moral and political leadership that has freed millions of the downtrodden and oppressed. Their learning, their artistry, and unique spirit of hope in the face of oppression, uplifts and inspires humanity. Leaders who spoke at the meeting termed the initiative as historic and thanked President Kenyatta for bringing the matter back to the table after it was first mooted by the founding fathers of African states in the 1950s and 1960s. For this upward search to be sustained for generations to come, it demands that we be united. Every descendant of this continent has a role to play, and this aspiration is captured in the Constitutive Act of the African Union that invites and encourages the full, and I quote, the full participation of the African diaspora as an important part of our continent, end quote. They included, among them, President Yoweri Museveni of Uganda, Cyril Ramaphosa of South Africa, Newly elected DRC Congo leader Felix Shisekedi, U.S. Assistant Secretary of African Affairs Dr. Jendai Fraser, and AU Special Envoy for Infrastructure Development Raila Odinga. Later, President Kenyatta attended a high-level board meeting of the Smart Africa Alliance initiative that is working to digitize the economies and trade of 600 million people in 24 countries across the continent. Besides Kenya, South Africa and Egypt are members of the Smart Africa Alliance chaired by President Paul Kagame of Rwanda. Beatrice Gatonyangetich, Channel 1, News Hour.